So from the client's perspective, the client wants to actually take that step and move forward. So that's the, that's the takeaway here. So from a client's perspective, we want somebody that's going to guide us. So when we're getting all the questions coming our direction, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. I'm getting somebody who's actually trying to find out what's going on in my head. Because I can't figure it out. Otherwise, I would have gone to the shelf, bought the product, and walked away. If you assume that you know what the client wants and you stop listening at that moment in time because you can't actually hear them when you're playing around in your head. It, the two things go you know, hand in hand. So the minute you go into your sales process, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do that, and you have all that internal dialogue going on, you have lost the ability to listen to your client and you'll lose valuable information. So if you've got some nerves going on when you're going into a presentation, which can happen occasionally, and you're in there and you're talking to the client, things aren't kind of going right, somewhere down the line you start thinking about your sales process and they may have given you a clue that you didn't hear. So, so good to have that there. And the key thing about your questions is that they've got to be in a process. If you can maintain emotional control of what's going on in you, you can stay open and find the, the, the question um, that you're looking for. How many people here have actually um, taken the time and kind of gone, okay, I'm going to imagine I'm a client for something like the service that I offer. And you've actually gone through it from the client side. Has anybody here ever done that? Okay. Well, there's a place, we're going to do this today, where you actually got to get into the head of the client and you got to think about it from the client's perspective. Okay. So, uh, Heather, you're in business insurance, right? And it's like, okay, this is how you would do this. You go, okay, I'm no longer in business insurance. I'm an owner of a company and this is my typical client. So my client looks like this. They're in this kind of an industry. This is what they're worried about on an ongoing day-to-day -day basis. So this is what I'm doing. And um, so they come in, they t sit down, they look at what I'm doing. It's completely scary to them. They don't know what's really uh, it's all about. It's another expense going out the door. They got somebody else talking about something that they're supposed to have that they don't think they need or they're not really sure. And so really getting into the head of the client helps you get their language, helps you get their real concerns, also actually makes you uh, very, very good at actually having the opportunity to talk with them and communicate.